What's going on guys? Today what I want to talk to you about is the Xbox 720 Durango GPU and versus the Wii U GPU. Which one is powerful? Which one is not? You know, does it really matter? You know, all this and more on the Mr. L Live Zero Eight show. Okay guys, we got a real juicy topic today. The Xbox 720 Durango, code name Durango versus the Wii U GPU. Okay. I don't want to deal with rumors. I don't want to deal with, you know, speculation. I don't want to deal with any of that. The only thing I want to deal with is facts. And what's the GPUs that are being used in the development kits right now? I don't want to deal with anything else. I just want to deal with what's in there right now. Because things change, because things can change, you know, within a day or two. So I just want to deal what's in the GPUs in the systems that's out right now for developers. And the first one is the Durango, which is the Xbox 720, and the GPU that they're using is the 6670 Radeon HD, you know, GPU. And in the Wii U, they're using the HD 4850. You know, that they're using in in you know in the development kits right now you know like I say things can change either which either either day it doesn't matter things can change we you know we all know that things can change so let's just deal with the here and now so I got in front of me on my tablet the specs you know for each card you know for the 6670 far as the 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 uh the core clock speed is running at 800 you know megahertz the core clock speed on the 4850 for the wii u is running at 625 megahertz so let's go on down to the the memory clock the memory clock speed on the 6670 is running at 2000 megahertz the memory clock speed on a 4850 is running at 993 megahertz. Okay, with uh, on the memory bandwidth, it's running at on the 6670 is running at 64 gigabytes per second. On the memory bandwidth on the 4850, it's running at 63.552 gigabytes per second. Okay. Now we're getting down to the juicy, the juicy part of the matter. Okay. The flops. Okay. 700 on the 6670 is 768 gigaflops, you know, that it's running at. On the 4850, it's running at 1,000 gigaflops. Okay. The pixel fill rate on the 6670 it's running at 6,400 megapixels per second. On the 4850, the pixel fill rate is running at 10,000 megapixels per second. The texture fill rate on the 6670 is running at 19,200 megapixels per second. And the texture fill rate on the 4850 is running at 25,000 megapixel tail rates per second. So, you know, the 6670 and the 4850, the 4850 is outperforming it, you know, in the, in the core aspects, you know, of the matter. Now, if we scroll down some more, you know, you're going to have, you know, your maximum power draw for the 6670 it's at 66 watts you know and the maximum power drawn for 
the 4850 is 110 watts. You know, okay, now here's what everybody is griping about. Okay, the Direx X10 compliance for the 6670 is already at Direx X11. Now, on the 4850, it only does 10.1. Okay, the OpenGL for the 6670 is 4.1. The OpenGL on the 4850 is 2.1. Okay, now the important thing of the matter is, look at this. The shader processor. 480 on the 6670. The shader processor on the 4850 is 800 shaders. And the texture unit is 24 on the 6670. And the texture unit on the 4850 is 40. Now, I don't know what all that means. But I'm just looking at, you know, at the raw numbers. And it looks like to me, the 4850 is outperforming the 6670. So, you know, with all that being said, you know, who knows which card is going to be better. By numbers, the 4850 outperforms the 6670. But we all know it's rumored on the 6670 that it's supposed to have a 16 core CPU card, you know, in the Xbox 720. Now, that's a rumor. Now, if 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 that is fact and and Xbox, when Microsoft does that, that's going to bottleneck that system. That's going to be hard. Uh, you know, like a 16 cores with that card, no, that's not going to work. You know, now with the 4850 card, you know, and the three cores that's going in the, the, uh, the Wii U, that's going to work. But the only drawback is that card draws so much power that it's going to cause overheating problems, you know. And I know Nintendo doesn't want to go that route. Like I said, I don't want to deal with speculation. I don't want to deal with rumors. I, you know, I don't, want to, I don't want to do that. But, you know, I'm just going off of the, the, the facts that I know was, you know, what's in the units right now. Like I said, you know, it's rumored that the 6670 is going to be a 7670 GPU, you know, that's going to be, you know, in the Xbox um, 720. And then it's rumored in the Wii U that they're going to be using a 6670 that uses, you know, less power. You know, so who knows? But I'm just dealing with I know that's in front of me, you know, right now. You know, what do you guys think? You know, I read the specs out to you. I'll have it. And, you know, in the description box, you know, you know, this right here should kill the rumors, you know, that the Wii U is less powerful than the Xbox 360 and the PS3. Just stop that nonsense right now. It's just common sense. <laughs> it's just common sense. If Nintendo is using the 4850, you know, card, using the architect in there and they're billing upon that, they're using modern day not four year old technology but modern day you know technology in this you know with this chip they got you know a real strong chip backing them you know and i think you know they can build you know upon this architect and make it better than it was four years ago you know it's a strong chip it was one of amd and radeon best chip you know back in the day so, you know, let's, you know, let's, let's, let's just stop with this rumor, you know, this rumor mess that the Xbox 360 and the PS3 is stronger than the Wii U. Because it's not. It's common sense. You know, I just read you out the specs. And like I said, I will have everything in the description box so you can read. You know, like I told you before, I'm not a tech savvy person. I'm not the best tech savvy person in the world. But I can use common sense. I can use the degree that I got and read. <laughs> it's, it's just that simple, you know. But uh, you guys, you know, have a nice day. 
Remember to hit the subscribe button in below. Remember, I'm on Twitter now, Mr. L Live08. You know, go check my page out for all the updates, you know, and everything. Make sure you leave your comments in the comment box, you know, and you guys have a good day. Thank you for watching my uh, for watching my YouTube page. Peace.